Mets fans will get a chance to see and hear Keith Hernandez for years to come. He came to terms on a multi-year extension with SNY. And Keith joins us on the phone right now live from Florida. Keith, congrats on the contract. And I guess my question would be, does it come with unlimited ice cream every game? How does that work out? Uh, I have a deal in it where I get unlimited uh, Tootsie Pops. Oh, Tootsie Pops. <laughs> I figured ice kidding. cream, Tootsie Pops, so one of those deals had to be in there. <laughs> yeah. I'm very happy to be back and working with you guys and uh, Ron and Gary and you, of course. Uh, we've kind of become very familiar with each other, and I think it's terrific, and I'm uh, very excited. I'm excited about the team, too. Yeah, I guess that certainly bumped up a notch with the acquisition of Johan Santana. Keith, what was your take when you found out this trade was made? Well, I thought it was a great trade. I, I wasn't really optimistic about the Mets going forward with the pitching start, the starting rotation that they had. Uh, and for them to go out and get a grade A class number one, uh, you know, starter, um, it just makes it all the better. I think it's going to take a lot of pressure off of Maine and Perez. Uh, as far as having to win big games that they had to do last year, they're young. I think it'll take a lot of pressure off. You've got three veterans out there now, and the El Duque. Uh, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be El Duque. Yeah. Uh, Pedro, of course, and we are hopeful that uh, that he will be 100% healthy, be able to go the long haul. And then you've got a guy that gives you all those innings. And you know, even though Santana could look at his numbers last year, and he was 15 and 13, and he still struck out well over 200, as he always does. All of his numbers didn't decrease. As far, that would be alarming, say, if he went from his 240, 230 strikeouts, and all of a sudden he struck out 150. Then you might raise have an eyebrow raise there, but he struck out well over 200. He doesn't walk anybody, and um, I think that coming over, I think he's uh, going to be what Doc Gooden was for the '86 bunch, and there's your stopper out there. That every fifth day you go out there, you really feel like you're going to win. What do you see as the team's weakness heading into spring training? I think they're a better ball club than they were a couple years ago. Their bench is solid, Kevin. Um, I'm a little bit worried uh, right-handed off the bench. They got their, but everybody you normally have more predominant lefties off the bench. I don't know how Church and Endy are going to are going to mix up in that uh, in that jumble in the outfield. Uh, but I think uh, Snyder is a definite upgrade. I, I think that they'll be, he'll get the bulk of the time. But Castro will play a lot against left-handers. It works for a great platoon right there. That was a very good move. He handles pitchers well. I think the bullpen will be better, um, particularly if Dewan or Sanchez can come back. That is key for spring training right now. If he can come back and pitch the way he did, then you've got Sanchez Heilman on the right side, and really Sosa becomes your really true, uh, in the old days, they called him the swing man when they played more double headers. He'd be the guy that would start in the second game of a double header and also really be your long man. So um, we all know that the bullpen got worn out last year. And uh, because the starters didn't take it that long, and then towards the end they just kind of collapsed. Uh, so Sanchez, to me, if he can come back, then this is a rock-solid bullpen. Keith Hernandez was just elected to the Missouri Hall of Fame today. Keith, congrats on the multi-year deal with SNY and also the unlimited supply of Tootsie Pops. Good to, we'll see you soon down in Florida, man. I will look forward to seeing you and working with you again for many more years. Uh, me too, Keith, that's for sure. I certainly uh, had a blast and learned a lot from uh, Keith Hernandez last year. As, uh, you know, it'll be fun to have him in the booth for a couple of years, that's for sure.